3 wants us to show that 1 plus cos 6 theta equals 18 cos squared theta only has solutions as the odd multiples of 90. So I won't worry about this at the moment. Let's just start seeing what happens if we replace cos 6 theta with all of this here. And the first thing you'll notice is that those 1s will cancel out. And also that the 18 cos squared theta will appear on both sides so they can cancel out. So we are going to be left with 32 cos 6 theta minus 48 cos to the power of 4 theta equals 0. I can take out a factor of 16 from both of these. I can, in fact, divide by 16 to give me 2 cos to the power of 6 theta minus 3 cos to the power of 4 theta equals 0. The next thing I'm going to do is, rather than divide by uh, cos 4 theta, I'm going to take out a factor of cos 4 theta. You should never divide by a variable because you may lose solutions. Always factorise them out. And that gives me this. I've got two things being times together to give me zero. So either this is zero, or this whole thing here could be zero too. I'm going to deal with this one first. If I move the three over to the other side, divide by two, and square root it, you'll see that the square root of 3 over 2 is bigger than 1. It's 1.22. And cos cannot, cos theta can't be bigger than one, and can't be less than minus one. So there's no solutions here. This doesn't give me any solutions at all. Okay. Over on this side, I've got that cos to the power of four theta equals zero, which leads to me saying that cos theta equals zero. If I fall through both sides, I've still got zero, so you can ignore that power. And then theta, if you inverse cos zero, or if you just know the graph, we're looking at this point here, which is 90, and we're looking at any other point along here, 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 forever and ever. And that one's 90, and hopefully you know that that one's 270. This next one would be 360 plus 90, which is 450. This next one would be 720 minus 90, which is 630. So my solutions are 270, 450, etc. And these are the odd multiples of 90. 1 times 90, 3 times 90, 5 times 90. Next one would be 7 times 90, which is our 630. So you can say which these are the odd multiples of 90. Don't forget to say this bit.